Here we have a 1979 Cadillac. We've cut and polished this side here. It's so nice and shiny. I'll give you a closer look. You can see the difference there. We have, it used to be worse. We did a good hand wash on it. You can see a little bit of the discoloring there. It's fallout. We cut and polished that right off. I can show you half of this trunk. It's all shiny. The other side's a little bit Check dull. this out. A good test? Smooth. Rough. Got a few of the products we're gonna be using here. We have an ultra cut compound with this wheel. It's yellow, a little worn, but still works great. This gray wheel for polishing with a separate compound. We got a spray wax and some fresh towels to finish it off. We'll make it all shiny like the other side. This is our first step, the cutting. We get all the deposits and debris off. Now you can see that we have cut the paint. It's a little duller and we need to remove the excess compound. We'll use a little spray wax to wipe that off. Now as you can see, we've removed the excess cutting compound. This is where most people stop. However, at Scotty's, we take it to the next step, the polishing phase. After we've polished, waxed, and done everything, we still have fallout on the car. Now what we got to do to get rid of that, and I'll kind of show you with my hand, it's the best way to explain it. How smooth that is, go over this side, how rough that is. We're going to go and take our detailing clay, and we're going to polish that all out, and kind of show you how we do that. It doesn't take very long, but just keep a uniform motion, back and forth. Whatever your polishing didn't get out, this will get out. And it just pulls it right into the clay. You usually gotta go over a 12 inch square. You do it three times and you flip it over. Look at all that. That's what it looks like before. That's how much stuff I've just pulled off the paint even after I polished it. Gonna polish up this bumper. Got lots of tarnish after about 30 years. We got some products to help us with that. Hit it with some clay, a little bit of mag and aluminum polish. Sheila Shine will help us do the job, and if we need to, we'll hit it with the buffer. Using a microfiber mitten, we're going to hand polish all this chrome. Look how shiny. I'm gonna do the same thing to the front bumper. Here's a view of the front bumper.
There you have it. Took a little bit longer, but look at that shine. We're all done. Tarnish is all gone. 